the forests are burning. The ice cracks and breaks. Brother turns on brother as religion forgets the love affair that it was born to be. Our children are free falling down a digital rabbit hole, garish and bright with glitter and false dreams. This great machine that we have built to serve us is out of control and we feed it with our lifeblood, throwing in one species after another to satisfy a bottomless hunger. Born of fear and a whirlwind of greed, whipped up to hide the gnawing doubt within that something is wrong. That the darkness is something we must run from rather than a place of rest and silence. Hope is an empty currency in these times of heartbreak, a crutch for the willfully blind, and yet, There is this great power. There is this great power. We carry starlight within us. The seed of the one tree. That light within from which worlds are born and birthing. This heart like a great plain of gold. Our lives the grass that dances in the eternal wind. There is more here than we can imagine in this multi-dimensional fractal playground of gods. Our magic runs deep and fast as rivers, calls the rains to meet the burning leaves, invites the water to dance silver and pure once again. There is no answer. For each of us is the answer, and our remembrance is the unfolding of a wildly perfect garden. I want no false hope, but something dances just beyond our knowing. Another land where a different dream fills our precious mind, where life serves life and death is a blessing. The final blooming of a faithful fruit tree, nourishing the earth and birthing countless seeds. Within our self-made shackles and tiny dreams of happiness, we are birds on the ground or fish out of water. Clumsy and strange, we strut and wobble and thrash, knowing that something is wrong. Whilst flight, and the freedom of the ocean dance just beyond the edge of night. We are so close that in the quiet moments we can hear it. In the stillness we feel it. The ones we were born to be and become. The walkers in peace and dignity. The lovers of kindness and delight. The ones who know how to draw the dandelion's golden heart about us. Like a blanket to warm when the night is cold. The ones who know the stories and the songs of the trees. And the runes of the wind carved on the silver lake. A species that listens before it speaks. And loves before it walks. So close, so close. It may be too late to crack the shell, to leave the darkness and remember the sunlight. The chrysalis may never open to share its unnameable colors with the universe. 
The fire may consume us, but all things must face their annihilation, and a dying star does not whine for a few extra millennia of light. There is dignity still. There is true nobility. Peace like a fox beneath the endless night sky. The gentleness of a new-baked human asleep on a tired father's heart. The egoless power of bears wrapped in their forest robes. Never surrender to violence or lash out in blind anger, seeking someone to blame for the pain that burns like a rainforest pyre. Love is yours. Love is yours, as you are love's. And together we walk this road, paved with the broken miracles of an earth ignored. We walk towards death and awake. We walk towards the fire. Turn your face to the heat. Now is not the time to be dragged backwards, cursing and whining and blaming. Rather rest in grace. In the green cathedral of trees, in the secrets of the deep ocean, in the vast fields of light that dance around us. Behind our eyes, beyond our dreams of ourselves. Walk with eyes bright with pain, with a chest open and made tender by truth. Walk well. Walk well for wheresoever we travel now. Be it the open sky of our birthright or the ignoble ending of blind and clutching fools, wheresoever we travel now, we must walk in love. We must walk in love, carrying the light of breath and the diamond of presence. If we are to die, let us die well. And in our noble dying, it may just come to pass that the old legends awaken to roll away the great stone from our tomb, opening a path into the garden of life, into the green forest glade that is painted upon our bones and written in the secret stories of our human heart.